All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the This Week Daily for Monday, uh, February 13th. And today is D-Day for rosters in the Fed. Now, um, the the, uh, transactions have been a little slow to come through, as I kind of expected, uh, just because uh, a lot of teams had to make cuts today. Plus, there are probably suspensions coming down later. Uh, So I'm going to do a video now uh, because most of what affects the Black Bears is done and taken care of. Uh, And then I'll do a second video later on and we'll call it part two. So but uh, so far uh, we have a total of uh, four teams that needed to make cuts that did and uh, one is just well actually two are just extremely puzzling Uh, so I did predictions yesterday on the Spotify podcast uh, the this week with the Black Bears weekend edition so so far I'm five for seven Um, we'll we'll see what happens Uh, okay Starting off with the Black Bears, uh, as expected, Matthew Sprawl, who was beer league guy, uh, just really an emergency fill-in for this last Friday, uh, he's been cut, uh, and uh, as well, John Morasti, who's been on a PTO status, um, of course, you know he only played opening night. Uh, he is no longer with the team officially. He's off the roster, so our roster is compliant. Now, um, regarding the sus- possible suspension of Jake Schultz, uh, that has not been announced yet. It may not even get announced until tomorrow. Uh, again, just basically uh, based upon how many transactions are going to be coming through. Uh, the FPHL offices are going to be very busy today. So uh, I won't be 100% surprised if potential suspensions to both Jake Schultz and Daniel Amesbury, yeah, we mentioned the name again, uh, are announced uh, until tomorrow. We will see. Okay, elsewhere, uh, we mentioned our two cuts. Um, oh, I got to backtrack a little bit because a couple people have been asking me. Okay, um, there's been rumors going around about uh, uh, Cam Yarwood uh, being out for the season. That is not the case. Um He is going to be out for a while uh, with a lower body injury, but he will be back. Okay. Um, If he was going to be uh, out for the rest of the season, he would be put on season ending IR. He has not been. He is still on the active roster. So so he will be back. Just be patient. uh, Give it time. Um, Jurich, um, he's going to be back sooner. Uh, not sure when he's hoping to get back for this weekend. Of course, uh, we're going to have to wait to see how his body responds. Um, obviously his health is a little bit more important than him making, uh, the games this weekend. Um, yeah, that would be huge to have him back, but obviously we want him back healthy at a hundred percent. Okay, elsewhere in the league, Danbury made two cuts as they needed to, and they were the ones I expected. Uh, Goaltender Parker Butler, who only played in two games, uh, he's been let go, so they're going to go exclusively with the tandem of Brian Wilson and Frankie McClendon. That did not surprise me. And Tristan Mock was also let go. Uh, He was a healthy scratch quite a few times this year. So, uh, again, that, that was not a surprise. Um, the other cut that was made that I expected, Mississippi, uh, let Sam Holy, uh, Holesky go. Uh, of course, he was with the Black Bears uh, before. But, uh, yeah, he's been having a hard time finding a home, uh, not getting a whole lot of playing time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so he was let go. Now, Mississippi still has to make one more cut. Um, as do other teams. The surprise cuts, uh, the two that just make me really scratch my head. First, Elmira. I thought for sure they were going to let Justin Laporte go. Uh, Justin's been with the team 
off the team, with the team, off the team. Uh, he, he's on his third go around this year. You know, he signed, he's waived, he signed, he's waived. Um, so I thought he was going to be the one to go. No, they let go of Isaiah Crawford, who is, you know, pretty good on that second line of theirs. So this just really made me scratch my head. Uh, quite honestly, I have not understood any of the transactions that Helmira has made since letting go of Parker Moscow. Um, trading him to Watertown, I, I I'm <laughs> I'm speechless. So yeah, Isaiah Crawford was the mammoth left to go. Well now, okay, the mammoth roster is set. Port Huron, they needed to make one cut. They needed to cut a goalie. I got clarification from Sarge, uh, the vice commissioner of the FPHL. Um, I had asked, okay. Do teams need to be cut down to a maximum of three goaltenders? He said, yes, they have four on the roster. They made a cut, but they still have four on the roster. So I'm not really understanding why they let forward Zachary uh, Frasura go, but he was the odd man out in Port Huron. Now, Port Huron is at the limit of 22. However, they have four goaltenders. So... They can sign another forward or defensiveman, but they've got to let a goaltender go. I'm not sure how they're not getting the memo on this, but uh, they've been carrying four goaltenders for almost a month now. Uh, when, I'd have to go back and look, but whenever Chris Paulin signed, he made four. And I thought at the time, okay, they signed Chris Paulin. They're going to let either uh, Danica Rodriguez or uh, or Joe Noonan go. They're both still on the roster. Now, Noonan is injured. He's been doing the color commentary on the uh, Prowlers podcast or the, the YouTube broadcast. But he's still on the active roster. So I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's left then? Port Huron needs to make a switch. They need to get rid of a goalie. If they want to sign somebody else, yeah, more power to them. Uh, Columbus is good. Motor City is good. Mississippi still needs to make a cut. Carolina still needs to make a cut. Binghamton's good. Danbury is good. Elmira is good. Watertown needs to make one cut. Uh, Delaware needs to let somebody go on the roster. Uh, I talked about this on the podcast as well. Uh, they've got two players that are not with the team that are on their active roster, Alex Susi and Eric Oganezov. Um, both have gone home uh, and are basically said they're not going to play for Dan uh, Delaware ever again. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. You cut one of the two and, you know, your roster's fine. Better yet. You cut both, and then you can actually sign somebody else if you want to. Sign Isaiah Crawford. You know, since since Delaware and Elmira seem to like to pick up each other's um, players released on waivers, <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, so that's where we're at. A uh, lot more transactions to go. Again, the suspensions. Um, I hope we see them today, but again, don't, don't be surprised if... Nothing is reported until tomorrow. So this will be an ongoing situation. Uh, I will uh, come back with part two as soon as we get farther along in the day. It'll probably be released sometime after six o'clock tonight. Um, but uh, this is out here for you now. All right. So uh, sum up. Morasti's gone. Spurl's gone. Our roster's good. Um, that's where we are. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe, uh, and uh, share share this video. I I appreciate the word getting out, not because it's me, uh, but just because I'm trying to uh, get more publicity out for both the Black Bears and for the FPHL. Um, oh yeah, one last thing I'll mention before I let you go. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see that I have changed my logo for the time being. 
uh, to the Danville Dashers logo. Uh, we're doing that in support of bringing back, hopefully, the Dashers, since uh, right now there's a, a hole to fill uh, at the David S. Palmer Arena with the demise of the Bobcats. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, if you want to show your support and let the FPHL know that we want the Dashers back, feel free to make that a temporary icon for your uh, ho- uh, your homepage for Facebook. And uh, also, uh, on Bench Minor Hockey, uh, this Thursday, Sean Johnson, who does a wonderful job um, it, giving us a lot of news about what's going on around the Fed, he's going to be interviewing uh, Barry Soskin about, well, about the other teams that he's hoping to bring in, but also about the situation. Hey, how things look about bringing back the Dashers. So a very interesting, that will be uh, Thursday night, seven o'clock on YouTube, bench minor hockey. Uh, go check it out. All right. Thank you so much again for watching. This is Gary Ryan. I will be back later today.